Today I'm going to be showing you three upgrades I'm going to do for my 4040 Pro CNC router. So the first one I designed and printed was a little 90 piece so that every project I have or whatever I'm making I can always set my zero corner right here and I always know it's starting here and can work its way out. The second one I did not design but I'll leave the link in the description of just these Little tighten downs. I'll show how all these work on the machine. Essentially, put them in, pressure it down. It's going to push it in that corner. Board's not going to move. I already used these once. They worked really well. A lot better than I thought they were going to. So I was really happy with them. The third one is going to be this dust collector. I'll show a video about right now while I'm talking about how dirty this machine has made my floors. And everything so as soon as I saw that I thought it was essential to buy this and this will fit on the upgraded DeWalt router I have on there now and for the fourth bonus one this is what my table saw came with for a push stick I'm not really unless the occasion shows I don't I'm not going to use these thinner ones with a long stick so I found this file online, I'll leave that in the description as well, where it's actually got a bit more, a bit more handle and beef to it than the standard one. So for the 90 square, it's really easy. These are the stock holes that came with the spoil board with this machine. And so just putting two of them in, they line up perfectly. I'm going to end up trimming this one down. So with just basic showing these off, this was a piece I did for a test. It would essentially be there, tighten this one down, so it's pushing it in that corner. Even that one gives it even just that one is enough. This one not being able to reach, I'd probably put a bigger scrap piece of wood there, tighten that down, and that's what I did for the last project. So next for installing this one, this does come with two separate gaskets for if you have different size routers installed. For this one, the DeWalt one, you don't need it, but this has three tabs on the inside and two magnets, so it's really convenient to take the bottom off when you have to do a fit change. But all I'm going to do is fit it up to about there, making sure that when this is on, that my bit still has play at the bottom and it's not too high. Now that that's tight, just line it up, and voila. Like I said, the magnets are nice. You can just pop that off, get your bit out, pop it right back on. And so, I got a few projects coming up that I'll end up using this with. I'll make sure I make a short out of it just so you can see how well this works and the difference. I'm curious to see with no seal being here that if little dust's going to fly out the cracks or not but it seems like it'll work pretty well appreciate you guys watching let me know if you want to see any more upgrades or any more on this cnc machine make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching